Hello, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a pretty quick video. I recently got a DeWalt 735 planer from Facebook Marketplace, and I'm excited to start using it uh, instead of hand planing boards that are warped. I also got a Delta Jointer, uh, so you're going to start seeing those tools implemented into my builds. Uh, I'll still be using hand planes when there's certain projects to do, but right now I'm gonna start using the planer and the joiner. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down a piece of uh, melamine uh, that I have uh, to be able to fit inside of the planer and use one of the very well-known ways to plane a board so that one side is flat. My joiner is not big enough for me to for me to face joint the entire board, uh, so I have to do it on the planer. It's going to be a lot easier. I'm going to cut the melamine board down to 12 and a half inches to fit into the jointer, and then I'm going to put a small strip at the end of it so that it'll help feed the board through the planer, and then I'm going to shim underneath the warped boards so that I can get a nice flat top surface, take it off of the melamine board, and then put it flat down onto the planer and plane the top and then have a nice perfectly flat piece of pine <laughs> instead of being it warped. Uh, so I'm just going to show that process. I'm fairly confident this is going to work, but like always, this is part of my journey and part of my learning, and I figured I would bring you along for the ride. So. Hopefully everything goes well and according to plan and uh, you'll get to see whether or not it does. <laughs> so let's get started. My goodness, so much for a short video. I'm already two minutes in. All right, so like I said, I'm going to be cutting this piece of melamine board down to 12 and a half inches. This is the width of the DeWalt 734 planer, and this should make it fit so that there's a nice, easy glide going through the planer, but not a lot of wiggle room for it to shift and get jammed up. Now I have a piece of maple leftover scrap that I'm going to use a hot glue gun to just tack it on to the back of the melamine. This way it'll have some support so that any board that I have on here is actually going to easily be able to be pushed through without any kind of slipping. Since walnut is the favorite wood on YouTube, I figured it'd be appropriate for me to use them as shims, considering I have some pieces left over from the bourbon flight build that I made. They work actually pretty well, so why not? And again, you use some hot glue to glue the wedges into the board and onto the melamine. I might have overdone it a little bit with the hot glue, but hey, better than losing the piece in the middle of the, of the planing. Uh, the more you use, the harder it is to get off, but considering the melamine is nice and slick, uh, that'll come off real easy. Okay, enough horsing around. Time to set the depth and start sending this through the planer. Let's see how it goes. And you are witnessing the very first time I've ever sent a board through a planer in my life. Now each time I send it through I lower the depth down by 1 16th of an inch. I use a pencil line on it to see if there's any unevenness. Uh, and once the pencil marks are all gone, I'm ready to take it off the board uh, and flip it over and start on the other side. The glue is very easy to just scrape off. It comes off easy. Again, I use pencil marks so that I can see if there's any unevenness and to make sure that all the pencil marks are gone for a level and smooth board.
All right. So that worked very well. There's a little bow in the, it kind of, it kind of goes this way. Yeah, maybe when I put it on, when I put that glue underneath, I might have raised it up a little bit. So now it has a little bit of that bow in it, but I mean, it is really tiny. So I'm not too concerned about that, but for the most part, I don't have any snipe, which is really good. Right here, I guess there's a tiny little bit but it's only on that side. I can kind of see it a little bit over here, but I can't feel it. So nothing that a little sanding out won't do, but I think this worked out really, really well, made it a lot easier uh, for me to flatten this board because I'm going to joint one end uh, and then cut it down and I'm going to make a frame for a mirror out of it so that I can hang it on my wall over here. But that will be for another video. That little trick is confirmed, at least in my book. And, uh, and that's how I did it. So comment below if you have any questions and uh, if you would like and subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. And you can follow along with more of my journey as I progress uh, and build things and get new tools and figure out how to use them. So thanks for watching, uh, I really appreciate it.